Welcome to video 7 in this how to make money online series and in this video we're going to begin customizing our site. The site that we actually installed in video 6 when we installed WordPress from our cPanel. And if you've missed any of those steps, be sure to go back and watch those videos as well. So let's get started customizing our site. Well here we are at our over 40 weightlossplan.com site. Lose weight fast for the over 40 crowd and we've got it looking just like a regular blog and what we want to do is go in and change just a few of the things to allow this to function more like a regular website. So let's go to our dashboard and you can always get to your dashboard by typing in wp-admin right after your domain name and it'll take you to the login page. Which will then take you to your dashboard. Now in your dashboard you'll notice that you have your posts, your pages, your categories. What we are going to be focusing on is our posts and our pages in order to set up this site in a way that is going to make people want to do what we want them to do. Which is not only to buy but to also sign up for our newsletter, which is incredibly critical because the average person will surf to a site and they'll look around a little bit. They may find something interesting and then they leave. And in general, they don't come back. So if we're able to capture at least their email address, then we will be able to contact them over and over again, keep them updated on what is new at the site and also to continue to market to them uh, products and uh, other resources that we feel are necessary for them to reach the particular goal that we have for them. Now what we're wanting to do with this site is to do a mix of a blog and a sales site and the way that we're going to do that is we're not going to overburden anyone with so much content that they're never going to go and actually look at uh, the things that we're wanting them to look at. So we're going to just do a handful of posts, say around five, that allows people to come and see that this site is legitimate, that it's not 100% about sales, but they can get some valuable information at the site. And then also, we'll have a process for them to enter their name and their email address. And the goal is for them to follow this process. And what we're going to do is to build our post and build our pages in a way that is going to lead people to opt in to our email list. So let's begin by customizing our site. And the way that we're going to do this, let me open this back up so we can continue to look at the main site. Like obviously this header does not match at all. And if a person arrived and this was all that was on the page, that would really be plenty. So let's begin by taking this header out. So go to Dashboard, Appearance, header is right here under appearance on the left hand side. We'll click header and you can upload your own header and we may do that in a future video but it's really not essential but it does give you the image size here if you were to have someone create an image for you. Right now there's a random selection of images or I could select just one if I just wanted one to show up or I can remove the header image altogether. Now when I do that, I want to make sure that I click Save Changes. Let's go back to our main site, refresh, and you notice that it's gone. So we've got over 40 weight loss plan. Now there was another option here. Let's go back to the header customization panel. Display text. I could click no on that save changes back to the main site refresh and now it looks a lot more like a regular site that that if we were to remove this sidebar it would look a lot like a sales site correct but let's go back and make sure that we do have our display text on save changes because what we want is for people to arrive at the site and feel like this is exactly where I need to be. You'll notice as well we've got home and we've got a sample page here. 
Now this sample page has already been created and it's under pages. So sample page and what we're going to do with this sample page is that we want to turn it into our main collection area for name and email address. Now we'll be doing that in a future video but for now we're going to call this number one strategy. This is going to be the only viewable page that we're going to create on our site. So let's update that and we'll flesh this out in just a bit in a future video actually. So let's go back to the home page, click refresh, and notice that it's now here in the menu bar number one strategy. If we click that, obviously it is the content that was already there and notice that there is no sidebar over here to the side so that when people come to this area it's going to focus simply on the article that we have in place right here. So let's go back home and this will be our first uh, post and it's posted on November 13th 2011 and what we're going to do in the next video is I'm going to show you how to take that out so that we don't show the date so that no one comes to the site and feels like the date is is old and uh, I'll show you how to do that in the next video but for now all your pages are located right here and all of your posts are located right here so let's click hello world and let's change that to over 40 weight loss plan. You see this title is going to match the name of our site and also the title of our site. Update. And we're going to make one more change in this video and we'll be done for this video. So we've learned about our posts, and we've learned about pages, and we've made just a title change to each one of those even though we did not create a new page but that's not a problem we'll do that in a future video let's go down to settings it's all the way at the bottom you've got general writing and reading click the writing setting and just make sure that everything looks well in that I usually don't change any of those, but size of the post box, 20 lines, I keep all of that the same. Click your general settings. You get to see your address. You get to see your tagline. You get to see your site title. You can change any of that anytime that you want to. And then reading. Latest posts are going to show. 10 posts on a page. Keep that the same. And one thing that we actually do want to change is our permalinks. So click permalinks down at the bottom. Now select custom structure. Enter percentage size sign. Post name. Percentage sign. I believe that, that is shift five will give you the percentage post name percentage save changes and the reason that we did this is that you may have noticed that in our post earlier it showed a number instead of a name so let's come back and refresh now let's go to this actual post and notice this post is named hello world we want to change that. So you can click Edit Post right under here. It's right under your main navigation of your browser. Edit Post. And now we want to edit click OK and click update. 
So what this is going to help us do is to make sure that we're also using keywords in the extension or in the name of our post. Earlier it was just going to give us a number and now it's going to give us that actual name. So let's go back and notice that it's here as well. All right, well that's it for this video. There's a lot of different options there that you got to choose from and got to experiment with. And so if you would, make sure that you do that in your own site and I will see you in the next video where we're going to learn two things. First, we're going to learn how to remove the date and we're also going to learn how to remove the comments. There, you may want some comments on your actual site of your your actual posts but you do not want comments on your actual pages so I'll show you how to do that in the next video as we continue to customize your business site